I feel like if it's not scaring you, you are doing it wrong. An actor should always let humility outweigh ambition. This isn't the time to make hard and fast decisions. This is a time to make mistakes. Take the wrong train and get stuck somewhere. Fall in love a lot. Major in philosophy because there's no way to make a career out of that. Change your mind and change it again because nothing's permanent. It's cute how I used to think this barely holding it together feeling was temporary. I like my men like I like my coffee. Silent. I feel love for people that I have loved, and I think that's so beautiful, and I think that's such an important lesson for children that people can have disagreements, but it doesn't mean one is bad and one is good. Sometimes the best part of my day is imagining what I'm going to eat when I get off work. Sometimes I think, I need to think before I speak. And then other times I think, I shouldn't leave the house or interact with people ever. If I die unexpectedly, can everyone just do the right thing and pretend I was a way better person than I am? You listen to your favorite song just until you're almost getting sick of it, and then it's so fun to rediscover it after a couple of months. Every time I talk to a fancy journalist and they ask what I do in my free time, my scumbag brain goes say masturbate, it'll be hilarious. I get really excited every time there's a female character who is really strong because a lot of females in film are really soft. The music industry seems scary to me. I mean the film industry is crazy enough so the music industry to me seems like the wild, wild west. Like I would just never dare. I think a good script is a rare thing, and I think no matter who you are you have to fight for the good ones. I shouldn't leave the house or interact with people ever. I had a confusing relationship with my Barbies, but I love trolls. I tortured my Barbies. We should be thanking Apple for launching the $10,000 Apple Watch as the new gold standard in douchebag detection. Nobody pulls a prank like George Clooney. My goal all along has just been to work and support myself. I've been really lucky to walk away from the Twilight series unscathed. Somebody asked me recently what it's like to be a star. I thought that was the strangest question. If you saw my day-to-day -day life, the word star just doesn't apply. Humility was an important part of the way I grew up. And I found that to be less common when I moved to California. That's not to say humble people don't exist there, but ambition seems really important. There have definitely been more than a few moments in my life where I'm wondering where the next paycheck will come from and how I'm gonna pay rent. I feel like I've got it together when things are going well with my family. I've never felt like I've exactly traded on my looks.